Today we're going to focus on uh, some shoulder opening. And for this, I'm going to use a strap. Uh, if you've seen my other strap videos, really you can get creative and use whatever you want. It can be a towel, um, as long as it's long. It can be a scarf, a tie, um, a shoelace, really anything that's long enough that you can hold it out a little bit past shoulder height. Um, and then other than that, all you need is your mat, and if you ever want something to cushion your knees, you can bring a blanket or a towel underneath the knees. But today is all about the shoulders, and we're going to start seated. So you can come to a cross-legged position if that feels good, uh, or you can kneel, or you can sit on a cushion. But we're going to take a moment to ground and bring awareness and attention to that area of the body. So close the eyes, somehow root the tailbone, root the sit bones, and find a long, tall spine. Close the eyes, rest the hands, the arms by your side, somehow supported, and start to take a couple deep breaths in through the nose, and let it go out the mouth. Inhale, feel the shoulders tense up on the inhale. And on the exhale, see if you can drop them down with a sigh. Release them back and down away from the ears. Two more times like that. No actual movement of muscles, just the breath moving shoulders up and just the exhales, releasing them down. Last round, your own breath, maybe a three count inhale. And a three count exhale. Good, bring your awareness into this room, this practice, and then starting to invite movement, keeping the eyes closed, inhale, roll shoulders up, back and down. Inhale up, exhale back and down. Two more times in this direction. Inhale forward, up, back, exhale, down, release. Last time. And then switch direction. So whatever one you did, do the opposite, still moving shoulders up on the inhale and releasing them down on the exhale, maybe coming forward and releasing on the exhale. Two more rounds. Arms follow, but don't actually use the strength of the arms, just connect to the shoulders. You may feel little crinkles, little pops and snaps, and then relax, release it down. Good. Blink your eyes open. So we are going to open the shoulders a few different ways and really uh, bring attention to the shoulders in different shapes that you're used to um, and build a bit of strength. So to start, we're going to check out the range of motion. So grab that prop, that strap like um, band or whatever you're using and bring it out in front of you. Relax your shoulders down. Bring it nice and wide out in front of you. So wider than shoulder distance. On an inhale, bring it up over your head. Notice what point your shoulders start to crinkle up. See if you can keep them down. And then exhale just to chest height in front of you. Keep pulling on this strap so you have a bit of tension the whole time. So inhale up, notice if you're doing this, see if you can relax the shoulders down and then keep widening the arms and opening up through the shoulders. Exhale through center. So this is strength building. You should feel the space underneath your armpits, getting a bit of fire and work as you pull this apart and as you work on keeping those shoulders together and back. One more time, just like this, come on up. Hold at the top, make sure your neck is relaxed, shoulders are down, back through center. This time we're gonna play with more range of motion. If you need to take it wider to start, do it. Inhale up, exhale, start to open back. Keep those shoulders back, keep the arms straight if you can. Come all the way back and down to your seat. And then up, over. 
overhead, lots of tension on that strap, just down maybe to your knees. Keep moving with breath, inhale halfway, exhale the other way. So you're getting a chest opener. Your palms are always facing forward, whether you're coming back or through center. Let's do three more times, just like this with breath. I'll face the side so you can see. Inhale, drop the shoulders. Exhale, continue to drop. If you need to widen your hands, do it. If you need to bring them together so you feel a bit of sensation, you can get more of a pull on the strap, do it. Last two. Check in with your neck. Make sure it's relaxed. We're gonna bend the elbows next. Take your last round nice and slow. Notice the entire rotator cuff of your shoulder moving where the stretches are. This time, come back through center to your knees and we're gonna add on. So now you're gonna bring it overhead a little bit behind you, so not too far behind you. You're gonna bend your elbows in towards your side body, release out behind you. Keep the tension three more times, bend, open the chest, relax shoulders, but feeling this through the shoulders, a bit of strength in the arms and awareness of your mobility. So we're doing this to find mobility, to find the areas where you start to crinkle the shoulders and you back away from that and you don't go as far. If it means bending the elbows less to feel it and to notice, do it. If you're bending it more and you find you're flexible and your range of motion is there in the shoulders, you can do that. After your last round, come back through center. Bring it up overhead, drop the left hand. So release the strap in the left hand. Bring the right hand behind you. And you're gonna release that strap behind you. So the right elbow is up towards the sky. You're turning your left palm back. You're grabbing onto that strap and you are pulling one direction and the other, opening up the chest, opening up that right shoulder quite a bit. Bit of tricep if you're tight there. Breathe, relax the neck. One more round of breath, just like that. And then let go with the left hand. Reach up with the right hand, switch into the other side. Drop it down, reach back with your right hand, reach for that strap. And start to pull any amount. So this is where you find your edge. You don't go past where it feels like sensation. You never cross over to pain. One more breath. Stay on the exhale. And then drop the hand. Drop this hand. And we're going to come into hands. Actually, stay seated for a moment. Let that strap go. Just look at me for a moment. Before we come to hands and knees, I want to explain protraction versus retraction. So if you look at my shoulders, they're kind of neutral right now. Protraction is when you reach the arms forward. So if you spread your fingers or make a fist and you reach them forward in space and you feel the shoulder blades uh, splay apart, come apart on the back body, widen, that is protraction. Retraction is when you scoop them back, almost like you're squeezing the shoulder blades together, arms are still strong and straight, that is retraction. So protraction we find when we're finding a rounded shape through the spine, when we're in a plank shape and we need more control, a pressing sensation. And retraction is when we want to relax the shoulders back and down and fire up more of this space underneath the armpits. So let's try it in our tabletop. Come to tabletop. Stay in neutral with the spine, just moving through the shoulders here. Protraction, press into the strong straight arms, spread the shoulder blades apart, almost like a cat pose, but not rounding the spine. And then retraction, drop those shoulder blades, drop those shoulders down and bring them together on your back body. Three more times in each direction, inhale. 
exhale. Protraction. Retraction with breath. Finding strength in the arms, strength in the shoulders. Micro bend the elbows if you need, but keep those arms somewhat straight. Good. And then once you've done your last few rounds, we're going to add it into cat cow. So inhale, drop the belly, bring the shoulder blades together for retraction, open the chest, dip the low back. Exhale, round, protraction, press into the hands. Bring those shoulder blades apart for a stretch in the upper back. Two more times. Inhale. Shoulder blades together, but shoulders away and down from the ears. Exhale. Press away. Strong, straight arms. Drive this motion. You can really feel the press. Last round. Exhale. Round. Good. Come back through center, press into your left, or press into your right hand, reach your left arm up and towards the sky. Exhale, bring that arm underneath and through the right arm. Start to crawl that right arm forward, fingertips on the ground. Inhale here. Exhale, press into the back of the arm, back of the hand. Twist the torso towards the sky. Reach that right arm as far forward as feels good and stretch out the back of that left shoulder, left upper back. If it feels good to reach the right arm up or even behind your low back, you can do that. One more round of breath, finding the stretch by pressing into that left back arm and opening the chest towards the sky. Bring your right hand back underneath your shoulder, press into the hand, inhale, reach that left arm one more time towards the sky. Exhale, bring the hand down. Inhale, right arm up this time. Exhale, through and under, across, reaching for the opposite side. Press down with the left, with the right arm, sorry, and then reach the left hand forward in space. Fingertips or palm down, hand may raise, hand may come to low back. Wherever you are, it's just giving you leverage to bring more weight on top of that right shoulder, on top of that right arm. One more breath, use the exhale to twist and stretch. And then left hand, Roots down, right arm opens up. Exhale, down. Tuck your toes, come into your down dog. Notice how your shoulders feel in this shape as you press yourself back towards those legs. Straighten legs any amount, long spine. Shoulders spread apart. Using this to press the hands into the ground, keeping the arms strong and straight. Breathing two more rounds of breath, let the head go, let the neck go. If it feels good to walk out the feet for your first down dog, do it. But maybe keep it still for your last round of breath. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop to front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Give yourself a forward fold. Feet hip width distance apart. Give those hands and wrists a break. Neck and shoulders a break just to hang out for a full round of inhale. Full round of exhale. And then slowly start to stack the spine, coming all the way up to standing. Good. We'll start to flow here. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant the palms. Step to a plank pose and pause. We're going to try that same movement in the shoulders. When you're ready, press through the hands. Protract those shoulders away from each other. And then exhale, drop it down. Bring them together on the back body. Retract those shoulders. One more time, each direction harder with this body weight. Inhale. Exhale. Drop your knees. Come all the way to your belly. Pause here. 
You're going to reach your right arm out to the side. Turn so the palm is facing up. When you're ready, bring your right ear to the ground. Press into your left hand and come over onto that shoulder. So your left top leg may, bring, may come behind you in space with the foot on the ground. You can keep your leg stacked or you can keep your foot in front of you if you can't bring that much weight over top of that right shoulder. I like to come as far over as I can, reaching left arm up and relaxing it back towards that right hand, getting even a stretch in the left chest, left shoulder. Two breaths here. Lots of breath work in these intense stretches. After your last round, come back through center. Pause in the middle, set up for the other side. Left hand comes out, turn the palm face up, left shoulder to the ground. Start to come over on top of that shoulder. You want the hand to be in line with your shoulder, so not too far down the body, not too far up. Maybe top foot comes behind you, and maybe that right arm comes behind you as well. Set it up, find the stretch, just as much a stretch through the chest as the shoulders. So you wanna get into this pectoral muscle as well, often tight, and when these pecs are tight, they can pull our shoulders forward, and in many cases create tight traps, resulting in neck pain and headaches. One more breath. And then slowly come back through center, Press yourself up, bring your knees nice and wide, find a child's pose. Let the elbows come down, give those shoulders a break, give those hands a break. Good. We're gonna take another flow and then we're gonna set up for some strength in a dolphin pose. So first, press yourself up through table, tuck your toes, find a down dog, let it feel good like a stretch. We're focusing so much on the upper body that these moments of down dog should be a good stretch for the legs. Bend your knees, look forward, step or maybe hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, fold over the legs right away. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, plant your palms, step one knee back, shin back, the other shin back. So we're going to set up for dolphin pose and we're going to hold it for um, at least five breaths. So dolphin pose. You're going to bring your forearms down. You're going to grab opposite elbows to make sure that you're uh, shoulder distance apart for this. And this is a lot of strength building for the shoulders for sure. Um, a lot of strength building for the upper body, especially if you're working towards any kind of inversions in the future. So, now that you have shoulder distance apart, bring your hands flat to the ground. Don't let them move. You can keep your palms down. Some people prefer to interlace your hands. As long as your elbows stay exactly where they are, I don't mind either variation, but they tend to start to splay out to the side and we don't want that. So set it up. Decide if your hands are going to come down or if you're going to interlace. And then when you're ready, you're going to tuck your toes. And you're going to press your hips back. Walk your toes just a little bit forward than you would maybe for your down dog. And then press yourself back so your head is hanging right between your forearms. Good. Just one time for fun. Inhale, come forward. Chin over top of those fists or hands, exhale back. You're in your dolphin shape, and we breathe for five long inhales, five long exhales. Head is close to the ground, but not touching. It should be suspended, and you should really be spreading those shoulder blades away from each other, pressing into the arms a lot, finding protraction, finding strength. One inhale. Exhale, four more like this. Keep pressing into the ground. Keep shifting the weight back. Heels will lift, not a priority to ground them. 
Breath and strength in the shoulders is a priority. Last three rounds of breath. One more inhale. Slow exhale. Once again, just for a bonus, come forward, chin over top of those hands. And then knees come down. Keep that, uh, keep hips over top of your knees. And you're going to reach your arms forward, reach your chest towards the ground. Forehead or chin comes down. Hands come closer. Maybe palms touch and you bend at the elbows, stretching out forearms, shoulders for puppy pose. Relax the head. Not in child's pose. Hips are over knees. Hips are not on top of the heels. One more breath. Stay on the exhale. Reach the hands forward. Start to press yourself back to that child's pose. Take a moment with your hands by your side, palms up, totally letting those shoulders release towards the ground. Good, and then slowly roll yourself up. Shrug your shoulders. Find me in a down dog. Good. Bend the knees, look forward, step forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Exhale, hands through center. Good, we're gonna take eagle arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right underneath of left. So wrap left forearm over top of right or grab opposite elbows. And we're gonna find just eagle through the front body. You wanna lift the elbows, whichever variation you have. And if you have the full bind, you're gonna move that uh, hand further away from your face. Breathing here. One more inhale. Feet are hip width distance apart. Exhale, wide open. Interlace hands behind low back. Open the chest. Exhale, fold over those legs. Opposite direction for the shoulders. Hands drop down. Slowly roll up. Other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, left arm underneath right this time. Find a lift of the elbow, a movement away with the palms. One more breath. And then inhale, open the chest. Interlace hands behind low back. Open the chest again. And then come over the legs one last time. Head and neck release fully. Palms, pendulum swing overhead. Toes face slightly in, heels slightly out. A stretch for the legs at the same time. Drop the arms down. Slowly roll up. Shrug. Good. We're going to slowly make our way to the ground. Inhale, open the chest. Reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Step back to a plank pose. Pause. Can you do one more protraction with the shoulders? Retraction with the shoulders? Come back to spreading them and come up and back to down dog. Making our way to our belly, we're dropping knees down from a plank and we're lowering belly and chest. So you can take the same stretch we did with one arm out or if you want to try interlacing hands behind low back, opening the chest first, and then starting to press yourself over to the right as far over as you want. I even bring basically the backs of my legs to the ground and my head starts to lift up towards the sky. So I'm really putting lots of pressure on that right shoulder. Hands stay interlaced. Two breaths. After your last round, come through center, 
Keep the bind moving mostly through feet and body weight. And then roll over to the other side. See if you can get that fist a little bit higher. And then any amount that you roll over, the more weight, the more sensation, the more you back off, especially with the legs, the less you will get into the shoulders. You've done a lot of opening of the shoulders, so be kind. You should be at a place where you have more mobility, but if that's not the case, back off. Last breath. And then slowly come forward. Let the arms go. Shake them out. Shake out the hips. We're coming onto our back body, just flipping over any way that feels good. And we're bringing knees in towards our chest, hugging them close. Last bit of arm work, really, to hug these knees in. And then let your arms relax over top of your shoulders towards the sky. Legs up towards the sky, over top of those hips. Dead bug pose, shake out the limbs, start to get some softness, release all the muscles, especially in the upper body. Legs come out wide, arms come out wide. Take three rounds of controlled breath out the mouth for a sigh. Bring attention to the opening through the chest, through the collarbone. See if the shoulders are a bit easier to open towards the ground. See if the upper back can get heavy. Last round of breath. And then let go of the control and get even heavier through those arms, shoulder blades, underarms, neck and shoulders completely soft, throat soft, jaw unclenched, face totally effortless. Lower body that got less attention, see if it can still stay soft, if it can resist any restlessness that's still evident. And this mini shoulder opening sequence results in a shavasana that should be completely still, completely surrendered. As always, stay here as long as you can, even if it's just five more breaths, noticing, mindfully watching, and keeping your thoughts as present as possible.